welcome all to our channel gtech fluent our today's topic number one in entity framework core is introduction to the entity framework core so as we are going to see how to connect with the database into the asp.net core mvc using entity framework core so we are going to start with the series of the entity framework core so in this video we will discuss and understand what is entity framework core why we require the entity framework core and which are the supported database for the entity framework and what are the features available inside the entity framework core so let's start and see what is mean by the entity framework core so entity framework core also called as ef core is completely rewrite from the ground up if you have any experience with the previous version of entity framework core you will find the similar features inside this so entity framework core is an object relation mapper entity framework core is a lightweight extensible and open source software like as we know dotnet core is a cross platform so entity framework core is also cross platform so it works on windows mac os and linux so entity framework core is a official data access platform for the microsoft now let's see why we require the entity framework core so entity framework core is an object relation mapper that enables dotnet developer to work with the database using the dotnet objects so what is mean by the orm so orm is a stand for the object relation mapper and it's enable developer to work with the database using the business object as a developer we work with the application business object and the orm generate the sql that underlining the database to be understand so we will discuss this concept more into our upcoming videos so entity framework can be used for the across various platform so as we discuss it works on the windows mac os and the linux entity framework core eliminates the need of the most of the data access code that developer usually need to write so we will understand this concept in our upcoming video so in general we supposed to write the lot of code to access or query the sql server so in entity framework core they have provided the minimal line of codes so entity framework core has a more feature as a developer we require to be used so now let's see what are the database supported by the entity framework core entity framework core supports many relational and even non relational database so entity framework core is able to do this by using plugin libraries called database provider and these database providers are available as a nugget package so here is a list of database provider and the nugget package respective against that so entity framework work with the most supported or the most used database for example sql server mysql postgresql sql lite sql compact and in memory so these are the database supported by the entity framework code so you can use this as per your convenient now let's see what are the features available inside the entity framework core the first is link queue link queue queries have been made more efficient and link queue querying method will be able to become a part of sql that runs on the database rather than the left for the post query client side evaluation second we have the filters so in entity framework core it is possible to define the query filter in your db context for the individual entities and this filter will be applied to any query that your application is executing before the queries goes to the database so next we have the group join improvement next we have the mapping so in entity framework core it support the complex type mapping and it is called own entities next we have the table splitting so table splitting is now possible to map two or more entity type to the same table where the primary key columns will be shared and each row will be correspondent to two or more entities so we will see this concept in our upcoming videos when we are going to query to the entity framework core next db context pooling db context pooling is a really cool performance feature that allows entity framework core at run time to use a pool of pre created db context instance rather than creating the new instance for the every time in next video we are going to create the one class library 
for the entity framework core which will run independently and that library we are going to use into our asp.net core mvc application and also into the web api so please let us know if anyone has any query or doubt we will meet in our next video thank you